What's up guys, Sebastian Griffin here with the Reptile Rangers. We are here at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo today. We're going to be talking about the differences between the milk snake and the coral. Alright, in North Carolina we have the Eastern Coral Snake. ...found from the North Carolina coastlines all the way up into the Gulf Coast. Now, the closest mimic we have in North Carolina is the Scarlet King Snake. It's also the only most colorful snake we have. Alright, so this little guy I have with me is the Apricot Pueblo Milk Snake. They are found in Mexico regions. He is the closest mimic to the coral snake, being in the colors. Now, with him, the old rhyme going with the colors is the red and the black touching is the friendly one, whereas with the coral snake, the red and the yellow, or the little bit white touching, that's the killer fellow. That's the dangerous one. Alright, so the coral snake is a front feigned elapid. Venomous snake, also in the family as the cobras and mamas. Alright, the coral snake's venom is a neurotoxic venom, so it is the only venomous snake in North Carolina that has a neurotoxic bite. Alright, so the coral snake, with him being so small and his fangs being so small, most of the time it is unheard of for people to have been bit by the coral snake because their fangs are so tiny they don't they can't get their mouth around the appendage they're trying to bite, so most adults won't be uh, bit by a coral snake because of them being so small. The coral snake is almost mainly a snake eater. And then the milk snake also eats snakes as well. Now, also being like the rat snake and the king snake, they will help keep some venomous snakes in check, but as babies, the milk snakes will eat bugs, and then when they get a little bit bigger, they'll also eat rodents and different stuff like that. Alright, so the milk snake can make a great pet. They're them and the coral snakes both. They're absolutely stunning little animals. Uh, I personally enjoy keeping the milk snakes. They're a great pet. They can be a little bit high strung at times, but they're one of the more pretty snakes that you can get out there that are fairly easy to take care of. So this is how you tell the coral snake versus the milk snake. So this is Sebastian Griffin with the Reptile Rangers. Make sure you go to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Write us in. Tell us what you want to hear about next. So we'll either see you on the next episode or we'll see you here in the zoo.